Go ahead. All right, good morning. Um, today we are going to be learning about uh, what buffers do um, in, in regards to acids and bases. So what we have here first is I just have a beaker with some water in it, and I'm going to use this pH paper to take the pH of our water. This is our distilled water that we've got in class. Uh, it looks to me to have a pH of around five. Um, and one of the reasons for that is there is no cap on it. So as it sits here, the carbon dioxide goes in, uh, in the air, goes into the container, dissolves in the water and forms carbonic acid, which acidifies it a little bit. So that's the pH of our uh, distilled water. So what we're gonna do now is we are going to add one milliliter of NaOH, sodium hydroxide, which is hopefully, you know, a base to our water. And we're gonna swirl it up a little bit. We're gonna put a piece of pH paper in there and we're gonna measure the pH again. Okay. And this looks to me to be sitting right around a nine for pH now. Okay, so we're gonna put that to the side. We're gonna take another milliliter of 0 0.1 molar NaOH out of the container. Gonna add it, gonna swirl, and take another measurement. Hmm. And this looks to be somewhere between 10 and 11, I think. Let me see. Eh, maybe more 11 and 12 there. So we're somewhere between 11 and 12. We're gonna take a third milliliter of NaOH, 0 0.1 molar, add it, gonna swirl, we'll take pH with some pH paper again. And this appears to be sitting, looks to me to be around 13. Okay, all right, and then we're gonna do that two more times. That is our fourth milliliter of 0 0.1 molar NaOH that we've added. Gonna take the pH. And I don't know, that looks to be about at a 14 now. So we're gonna we got one more to do. Last milliliter of NaOH added to our H2O. And still at a 14. So that is uh, the impact of a base on the pH of water. So we'll put that to the side. We've got three more tests. Uh, so this is our second test. We've got uh, pure water again, distilled water from our container that's been sitting open. So it's become acidified a little bit. Again, the pH just seems to be sitting right around a five for our pure water. Now this time what we're gonna do, and I've got a different pipette for this. Uh, this time what we're gonna do is we are going to test the effects of adding hydrochloric acid to the pH of our water here and see uh, how quickly it changes. So we're gonna add one milliliter of 0 0.1 molar hydrochloric acid at a time. There's our first milliliter. I'm gonna take the pH. Uh, and that seems to be sitting between a two and a three. Can you see it okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. That was our first milliliter. Now we've got to add our second milliliter. Swirl it up. There we go. Take the pH. Yeah, it's a two, I believe. Okay. So we're gonna take our third milliliter. Swirl, <clears throat> pH, and a one, and a 
a half. Somewhere in a, somewhere between a one and a two. Okay. Uh, so this will be our fourth milliliter. Swirl it up. Take the pH. Yeah, it's definitely to one now. Okay. And then our last milliliter. Added, swirled, check, still to one. So that's our second test, testing the effects of hydrochloric acid, uh, adding one milliliter of hydrochloric acid at a time to water to see what happens to, the, to our pH of our water. All right, we're going to repeat the same experiment, only we're going to use a different uh, solution to add the uh, NaOH and then HCl2. We're going to use this solution of a uh, dihydrogen uh, phosphate buffer. Uh, and so it's potassium dihydrogen phosphate. It is a buffer that we're going to add this NaOH to first. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to take the pH of our solution to start. And I'd say that this pH is right around a six and a half. So we'll put that here. I'm going to move the old pH paper out of the way. All right, so now we're going to measure the effects of the sodium hydroxide, adding one milliliter at a time again. To our uh, phosphate buffer solution. So swirl it up, dip, and appears to be right at that seven mark. So we'll put that here. That was our first milliliter. Second milliliter added. Check. Still sitting at about a seven. Third milliliter. Check it. Still look like a seven. Yeah, okay, still looks like a seven. After three milliliters of sodium hydroxide, here is our fourth milliliter. Added, swirl. check. Still looks to be at a seven. I don't think that's an eight yet. That's a seven. Okay, after four milliliters. And here is our fifth and final milliliter of sodium hydroxide. Added to our potassium dihydrogen phosphate. That's not there yet, no. That's still sitting at a seven. Okay, all right, there we go. The last experiment that we're gonna do is see, testing the effects of uh, 0.1 molar hydrochloric acid on the adding it to uh, our potassium dihydrogen phosphate buffer and testing the effects on the pH of our buffer after we do that. So first thing again, we need to make sure we take the pH of our buffer because this is a different solution. And it appears to be Starting again at that like six and a half, kind of between six and seven. So this time we're going to add a milliliter of hydrochloric acid at a time. Add and swirl. Check. And that doesn't appear to be any different. And it's still sitting right around that six and a half mark. So another milliliter of our hydrochloric acid goes in, swirl, check. Uh, I think we're at six now. 
All right, so we're sitting at six. At our third milliliter, hydrochloric acid. Swirl it up, make sure we get it mixed throughout. Check. Still appears to be sitting right at a six. I don't think it's as orange as the five is yet, so we're still sitting on six after three milliliters. Another milliliter added. Swirl it up real good. Six, I think. Would you agree? I agree. Okay. That's a six. Okay. So that's after four milliliters. So we've got one more milliliter to add. Swirl that up. And one last check. Maybe a five and a half. All right, so that was our experiment with hydrochloric acid and our potassium dihydrogen phosphate buffer. Notice I was wearing my goggles the whole time. This is what I'll look like when you see me in class because otherwise my mask fogs up my glasses. <laughs> All right, have a good day, everybody. Bye.